Hello everybody and welcome to a new MA Tips. This time we want to have a look at a new move in black option which is called MIB Preference. What we can see here, we created a simple queue list. So the first queue with a position in red. In the next queue, the dimmer goes to zero. So this is my blackout. Then we have some queues in between where nothing special happens. And in the last queue, we go back to a new position and a new color in blue. Now we want to use move in black for our sequence to prepare the new position and the new color while the dimmer is closed. So we go to our sequence settings and in the sequence settings we say MIB enabled and we choose the MIB mode early. So as soon as the dimmer is closed we want to do the move in black so the preparation of our new position and the new color. You can see that this works so we are back in the first queue then we go to the second queue then the dimmer is closed you can see the lights are prepared you can see this with the green marker in the background in the fixture sheet. So these values are used because of the move in black. And you can also see it in the 3D. Our new position is already prepared. The new thing in Grandma 3 is that we can specify our queues. So which queue is better or which queue is worse to do a move in black. For example, when we have some very silent queues where we do not want to have the noise of a move in black, for example. Therefore, we have the new column MIB preference. You can find it in the sequence sheet in the MIB settings per queue part. When we edit the MIB preference cell for our queue number two, we can see some predefined values like never, this is the worst queue, for example, this is a bad queue, or this can be the best queue. And we see some numbers behind this. So a range from zero through 100. Next to those predefined values, we can use all the different values between 0 and 100 to specify our queues. So a lot of possibilities to say that this queue number 2 we should never use as a move in black because this queue is very, very silent. Queue 3 could be a bad queue maybe. Queue 4 is maybe a good queue to do the move in black, but the best queue is queue number 5. Remember, we enabled move in black early, so as soon as the dimmer is closed, normally we would do the move in black. Now in Q2, the dimmer is closed, but you can see the move in black is not done, because the MIB preference has a look at the best queue in the list. And of course, this is queue number 5, because we said this is the best queue in our MIB preference column. You can see the green background of the values, so now the move in black is done. And when we are in Q6, our new position and the new color is prepared. I hope you like that new MIB feature. This gives you a lot of possibilities. Try this out and see you next time for the MA Tips.